When I first spotted this house on Zillow, I loved almost everything about it, but one of the first things that jumped out as must change before we move in was the color. I just don't happen to love yellow houses, and for whatever reason, we have been drawn to them in Richmond. The one that we're renting is yellow, and the one that we bought is yellow. Today I want to show you how I use Photoshop before we even decided to buy this property to do a mock-up rendering of what it might look like in a different color so that I could feel really good about going forward with the purchase. I've joked with my husband that the reason the houses happen to be yellow in Virginia is because of the butter. The southerners love their butter and biscuits and all the yummy comfort food that we have around and somehow that has translated into homes as well. It's not that I don't love the color yellow, I just don't happen to love it on my own house and it was really fun for me once I saw the listing on Zillow to pull that image straight from the listing into Photoshop and start playing around with it a little bit. It's something that I do from time to time as I'm coming up with ideas and I like to mock up different ways of looking at things and being able to change colors on walls or especially on this house on the exterior made it a lot easier for me to visualize what it might be like if we bought it to actually paint it and move in. You're gonna want to find a comfy spot because it takes a few minutes to get your image up, pulled up in Photoshop and um, figure out what you're doing. I am using the image that I pulled directly from the Zillow. Uh, I just screenshot it straight from Zillow, pulled it into Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop 2017. And then I'm going to start over here with the polygonal lasso tool. I don't know how to say that word, but because in architecture, um, a lot of the lines are straight, it's gonna be the easiest way to highlight different portions of the house as I'm working with them. I'm gonna start with the roof and just start on one corner and click roof to roof to roof. You can see I'm just following the lines of the house. It was very apparent, even in just looking at this photo, that the roof was probably gonna be replaced. And we actually were able to negotiate the roof replacement into the um, sale of the property. So it was replaced before we closed on the, on the house, which was nice. Um, and, but when I was just doing this rendering, I wanted to make sure I could get an idea of what it would look like with the roof nice. So up on these dormers, I'm just going up and around so that I'm able to get all of the little spots um, that will be, that I'm going to turn black to deepen the color of the roof. And you can see how easy it is with this tool. You just click on each of the corners. So as you get to a corner, you click, and then to another corner, you click, and then down to the bottom over here, you click, and then when you get back to the beginning, you can see everything is highlighted. So once I have everything highlighted in one space, then I'm gonna come over to the adjustment, and I want to use the hue saturation adjustment. And when I click on that, if I click on colorize, See, it automatically shifts the color of the whole thing. Um, and I'm just gonna, for the roof, I wanted to just see what it looks like a little bit darker. It doesn't really need to be a color. Um, I'll actually leave it up here in the blue range, lower the saturation so I can get it just kind of in a black, you know, where it will probably be like a gray black when I'm done. Maybe a little bit brown. You can kind of play around with it. If you wanted to like see what it would look like, what your roof would look like brown or if it would look like a different color, and that's where you play with all of that. Let's just make it kind of dark, take some saturation out, and there already it looks like my house has a new roof. So if I um, look to see what it looked like before, I can just look here, what a difference it makes. Okay, now that I've got my roof colorized to a nice darker roof, I'm gonna go ahead and do just use the same method for the siding. I'm just going to try to avoid the um, windows, go up and around um, the gutters because I want those to stay white to give me a real feel of what it's going to look like. You could probably use one of the different lasso tools um, in this situation as well. Um, I just found it easy to use this one because of all the straight lines. So if you come over to um, the quick selection tool, then you can take things out of um, the selection. So I'm just going to remove that window because I want that window. If I use two fingers I can zoom in and if I use double click then it helps me just make sure that my windows are not selected because I don't want my windows selected. Okay once I've got my whole selection it looks like the all the pieces of the house that I like are selected. If I go up to the add selection I can just add in this little corner that for whatever reason didn't get um, taken. 
and it looks like everything I want to colorize is now highlighted. So I'm going to just go over to the same thing, hue saturation. When I hit colorize, I can see all the portions of the house that are highlighted that are going to be colorized. And then I'm going to just pull, make it dark. Darken it here. What I really would like is a really kind of pretty inky dark blue. And darken it there like we're getting close with that. I can increase the saturation if I want it brighter. I can decrease the saturation if I want it more gray. But I really like the idea of kind of an inky blue like this. Ooh, isn't it fun to see it? So, I mean, you could assume you wanted to paint it a different color, though. If you were looking to do like a kind of a pretty sage green, you could pull it into the greens and lighten it. And take out some saturation and, and you can get a feel for what it would look like as a kind of a pretty green color, or you could, um, you know, really any color that you wanted, you can go, you can go white, or there's like gray. So then I have an idea of what that looks like blue in a pretty deep color like I like. Now I get to go in and just kind of fine tune things with the clone tool. Okay, so, that takes out one of my shutters. I can repeat the same thing over here on this shutter. I wanna remove the shutter and get a feel for what it looks like without it. So I go to my selection tool, then I go down to my clone tool, and then I can make my clone tool a little bigger because I'm gonna clone from right over here and line up the lines pretty well. Okay, so there's another shutter gone. I wanna take out this little sign here and I'm gonna just continue using my clone tool to remove all the things, all the pieces of the front of the house that I'm not interested in seeing. Okay, so that gets us to the basics of looking at the before picture and using the lasso tool and the colorizing to just get a feel for what the project might look like as an after. I added a couple other things like a new door that I copied and pasted from a property on Pinterest just to get a feel of what it would look like with just a wood door. And then I took it a step further for my phase two plan, which is gonna be maybe next year or the year after, where I want to add a front porch to this property. And I just wanted to get a feel for what the style might look like. And so I wanna show you you those properties. So here's the before and then here is after my paint and trim where I've added this blue, the windows are trimmed out, the um, roof is a little darker and I copied and pasted a door from Pinterest just using all the same techniques of you know selecting, copying and pasting and then for phase two there using um, the, again selection, copying and pasting I've added this front porch um, this one doesn't have the door, it just has the porch and pillars and then also the idea of kind of a brick patio. So I love being able to start here with what the property actually looks like right now. Really cute house with lots of potential that needed to just be maybe pulled along a step further um, to this, which is probably the state, this is the state that I expect it to be in when we move in in a couple months with the exterior painted, the shutters removed and a new front door. And then a couple years from now, when we get around to it and save up some more money, we can add a big front porch with a couple pillars and maybe brick out that whole front walk. What a transformation it has. Just looks like a whole new property. And even just phase one, I'm so excited about. I love the idea of the richness of this dark inky blue and the crisp white trim and a nice new roof. Just like last week, yeah, I think I said potential like 13 times in last week's video, I just feel like there is so much going on with this property that's gonna be really beautiful and amazing and I'm excited about all of the opportunities that we have to make changes to improve this house in a way that it will feel like us and it will also have a lot of lasting power in the neighborhood. I hope you love taking a peek of the way that I'm thinking about painting the house and um, the before and after and a little bit of the process. Make sure you continue following along because we have new things to share every week as we're digging into this house and next week is going to be demo day. You don't want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have questions and I will check you later.